What is going on, NXT Youth Online? Welcome to Online Service, hosted by your boy Cash Money Productions. Now, I got a lot to say, so I'm gonna try and say this really quick. So first off, we love to hear from you guys, okay? So go ahead and list your name, your crew, and your favorite leader from that crew in the comments below, because like I just said, we love to hear from you guys. Now, official announcement, this is really important. On Mondays at 7 p.m., we're having live services in the main sanctuary, okay? So make sure you go to those, because they're very important. So we're gonna have worship, guest speakers, and a lot of fun. So I just wanna put that out there and make sure it happens, okay? Also, get involved in life group. Get a involved in a life group, whatever the correct grammar is, I don't care. Get involved in a life group, because not only is it great for your spiritual growth and it's a lot of fun, I have a challenge for you guys too. If I call Pastor Paige or a staff member tells me that 20 or more people joined a life group in a week, I will dress up in prom clothing and I will dive into a pool. No, better yet, I will belly flop into a pool. But you guys have to do your part of the challenge first, okay? So that's all I got for this part. Let's head into the next part. Welcome to the Minute to Win It Relay. I am your host, Stacey Bowie. First, we are gonna play the tissue box game. We've got Joseph and Olivia here. They're gonna put one hand behind their back and they're going to pull out one sheet of uh, tissue paper at a time. On your marks, get set, go. Go, go, go. Don't miss, don't worry about the mess. Olivia's been at home practicing apparently. Oh, yeah. The struggle so is real. J High versus high school. I think high school may take this. Oh, junior high for the win. Next game is Stack Attack, where both Brian and Ashley will build a pyramid, a perfect pyramid with 36 cups. They have to build it all the way up. It has to stay, and then they have to take it down. They have one minute to win it. Let's go. Go. Ashley's already building. Remember, you have to use every cup. If you mess up, you have to start all the way over again. No! <laughs> high school now in the lead after the J-High fall. I think Ashley still has a chance. No! <laughs> J-High got knocked down again. Poor Ashley. This game is incredibly hard. And high school takes the win for the stack attack. <laughs> Our third and final game is the ping pong shakeout. Each contestant has a tissue box tied behind their back with 10 ping pong balls in it. They have to shake and dance and move around to get all 10 ping pong balls out. On your marks, get set, and go. So far, it looks like Joseph is getting the most of them out. Olivia's starting to get some out as well now. At least they're getting a good workout. Well, the ping pong shakeout ended in a tie. Both contestants had four balls left in their box. So now we're down to a tiebreaker. We're gonna do a rock, paper, scissors battle. Best two out of three. One, two, three, shoot. <laughs> three. Uh, uh, the high schoolers take the win for our Minute to Win It Relay. Thanks for joining us for our Minute to Win It Relay. Congratulations to Team High School for taking the win. We love you guys and enjoy the rest of service.
I carried a burden for too long on my own. I was created to bear it alone. I hear your invitation to let it all go. I see it now, I'm laying it down, and I know that I need you. I run to the Father, I'm falling into grace, I'm done with the hiding, no reason to wait. My heart needs a surgeon, my soul needs a friend, so I run to the Father again. Your son for redemption, the price for my love. And I don't have a context for that kind of love. I don't understand, I can't comprehend. All I know is I. I fall into grace I'm done with the hiding No reason to wait My heart needs a surgeon My soul needs a friend So I run to the Father again that you have joined us for services here on YouTube on Wednesday night. Hey, if you were at our Monday night hang, you heard us talk about how we are going to start doing live services every Monday night, 7 p.m. 
in the sanctuary starting next week, July 6th. Mark your calendars, month of July, Monday nights. We want to see you there. Are you guys excited about having live services? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. So come worship with us. We're going to hear from guest speakers. It's going to be an awesome time. And so you do not want to miss it. But hey, we wanted to come together. I have some friends with me today. Um, and we want to do a panel together um, just to talk about what does it look like for us to have spiritual growth during this season? You know, I can't imagine we've been in quarantine. It feels like we skipped spring and we are officially in summer. And something... Um, Summer means something around here at NXT Youth. I mean, we love to dive in to discipleship. We love diving into the Word of God during our summer. And so as we kind of are in quarantine, we wanted to stop, we wanted to pause, and we wanted to say, how do we in this season lean into God? How do we continue to go, God, um, I want you at the center of everything that I do and say and who I am. And we've actually really been talking about that kind of the last month. Link in bio, what is Jesus value? Who is he and how can we continue um, to live a life that seeks after him um, and even looks to him? So we want to kind of have that conversation today. Thank you guys again so much for joining us. Um, and we're so excited that you're here. So can you guys do me a favor? Can you, let's go down the line, introduce yourself and tell me what crew you're on. I'm Shauna Lay, and I'm on Black Crew in high school. I'm Diego, and I am on Orange Crew in EJ High. I'm Melissa, and I'm on Red Crew. I'm David, I'm on Yellow Crew. Awesome. Well, thank you guys so much for being here today. There's a few answer uh, questions that I'm <coughs> going to have you guys answer um, and just get your perspective. And, hey, I think so, there's some things that these students and leaders have to um, bring you and offer you that we hope that it will be encouraging uh, to you today as you kind of join services. So the first one is this. It's kind of fun um, because we like to have fun around here, <laughs> and summers are actually really fun as well. And they're going to continue to be fun as we have our Monday night services and hang out um, as well. But what is one of your favorite things about summer? And maybe you actually have a memory that you have loved about NXT youth or about a past summer. Um, what is something at NXT youth, when you think about summer, that you really love? I personally really love the nice weather outside. It's so nice to be just outside and sunny because I do not like the cold very much, you know? <laughs> All the winter coats and layering, yeah. you know? And specifically at Calvary, I like how you guys always offer so many different camps and activities to get involved in. And personally, I've met some of my best friends through the church, so I really yeah. think it's a nice experience. And there's something for everybody else to enjoy as well. That's right. I love that because, um, listen, get outside of your house. We have a bend inside okay. of our houses, yep. so if you yes. can get out, go for a walk. <clears throat> Clear your head, enjoy nature, ride your bike, do those things. I know sometimes it's so easy just to stick in the house and um, watch YouTube videos or be on your iPad or play video games, but that's a good one, Melissa. I like it. Get outside. Personally, just I like the time I have, the free time, because school, mm -hmm, college yes. is busy. Yeah. You have a lot, it, it only gets worse from here. <laughs> <laughs> so um, there's just a lot going on, and summer's just kind of, it's a great time to detox, and I love getting to spend time with NXT and just being around with everybody, and it's great. That's awesome. Well, hey, I want to dive into um, just this topic of spiritual growth and what does it look like to um, kind of lean in again um, when it comes to this topic. Like, I just, I stop and pause, and I even, I hear you kind of say that, that summer, I think, can turn into, like, well, I just have all this free time. And um, I could cho choose what I want to do with that free time. Do I choose uh, to, to use it wisely? Or sometimes I think it's so easy to get distracted because we have all of this free time. And we stay up till 2 a.m., 3 a.m., and then we don't wake up until 1 o'clock. And then it's which is so easy to be so lax. But if we don't pause to go, hey, what am I really hoping for this summer? And what ways do I want God to move in my life? It's so easy for us to go, well, it's just another summer. And I think it would be really easy to do that this summer because we're like, man, we've just been through a lot. Like, we don't know what's happening with school. We don't know what's happening with COVID. Um, all of those things that are happening in our world today. And I think it could be so easy to go, uh, so many other things are important. But I think this needs to be the number one important thing in our life is how do we connect with God? How do we stay connected when we don't necessarily have Amplify, when we don't necessarily have Delta Chi, when um, IDT is not, is not 
in place currently. So um, the conversation that I want to continue to have today is how can we uh, be spiritually minded in this moment and how can we continue to have spiritual growth um, <coughs> during summer 2020. Um, and so there is a verse in Colossians 2, 6, and 7. It says this NXT youth. So then just as you have received Christ Jesus as Lord, continue to live your lives in him rooted and built up in him, strengthened in the faith as you were taught and overflowing with thankfulness. So we want your guys' lives this summer to be rooted and built in Jesus. That's what the ver this verse is talking about. And so how do we do that? So my next question is this, what kind of work goes into spiritual growth and what is something you personally lean into that helps you grow your faith? Honestly, I feel like first I realized that it, um, what I do wrong or how I can improve, or where I lack, or where the areas that I lack in my faith with God. Yeah. And so um, I pray, but it's I pray during worship time because I feel mm. like so song, so mm. many songs say the words that maybe that I can't find. That's good, so, yeah. And I think when we do that, it almost recalibrates our heart, right? Mm. Because some, <clears throat> sometimes our heart isn't in our life isn't always feeling it. But when you're not feeling it and you stop and pause to recognize that and, and that's you going, hey, I need to put on some music and I need to tune myself in to Jesus. I need to yeah. tune my life into what he wants to speak and speak to me. And so you recognize that and you go, okay, I'm going to put myself in a position. I'm going to put myself in a posture to look for Jesus in my life, for him to speak to me. And so I love that you said that also just that you said, man, sometimes those worship songs say the words that I don't even know how to speak. That's powerful. That's so, so good. When you don't know exactly what to pray about, when you don't know exactly how to, to lean in, put yourself in, in a posture, in a, in a moment, um, to be able to hear from Jesus and maybe lean into some worship songs that are going to help you um, lean in to go, man, this is what I'm trying to say and this is what Jesus is trying to speak to me. I really love that. I feel like even though we're not at the church, that we don't have to be at the church to have mm -hmm. a relationship with God or to have a moment with God. You know, yeah. we can be in our own homes, you know, to just experience the Holy Spirit. But yeah. also we have to choose ourselves to devote time to spend with God. Mm -hmm. It doesn't just happen, but yeah. we have to make the decision ourselves. Yeah. But once you start um, trying it and trying it more and more, it'll start to feel more comfortable again. And you'll definitely start to see growth in your relationship with God that way. Yeah. That's awesome. Hey, I read this statistic the other day, actually, as I was listening to a, a podcast, actually, I heard it, um, is that 45% of what we do um, isn't us even thinking. It's just naturally what we do. So if somebody asks us a question, how are you doing? Our natural tendency, because 45% of what we do is just what we, we don't even think about what we say or what we do. We just do it because it's already our natural reaction. It's what we've already done. It's what we've always said. It's what we've always known. And so we go, I'm fine, right? How many of you guys mm -hmm. get asked yeah. that yes. question? You go, how are you? And you go, fine. And you don't even stop to think, how am I actually yeah. doing? And so I like that because, listen, I think this summer we have to stop and pause. We got to know where we're going and what we're looking to, to know what we want to do and what Jesus wants to do in our life. And if we don't stop to pause to do that, our natural reaction is just to do what we've always done. And if Jesus isn't a part of that component, then we're not going to choose him. We won't choose him if it's not our natural reaction, if we don't take the time to input him into our day. Because half of what we do, that's a big percentage, half of what we do is just out of natural tendencies. I get up, I brush my teeth, I go get something to eat, I snooze the alarm three times because I stayed up too late. I'll, do, you, do you see what I'm saying? And so it's one of those where we have to be intentional. You have to choose to go, man, is Jesus a part of my everyday life? Is, is it a natural tendency for, for me to want to go to him? And I think if we say no, then we go, how do I fit that in? If we want to exercise and get actual muscle, then we've got to put in the work to lift the weights mm -hmm. and do the work. Well, it's the same thing with our spiritual lives. If, if we want to gain some spiritual muscle this summer, then, then we've got to do some of that work to put that in. And that means that we have to consistently spend time with God and getting to know Him and let Him be... Um, get us get per, even personal with Him, if that makes sense. And so, what are some of the difficulties that you face... Um, that maybe even students watching are facing right now, um, what are some of those difficulties and how can we overcome them? For me personally, I tend to get really lazy and not mm -hmm. want to read the Bible mm -hmm. or 
like lean into him but I've been like trying to like make myself like lean mm -hmm. into him read my Bible like you said yeah. it takes time to like actually like work and like get like the muscle for me like personally in my life I would always say like oh yeah I'll do this later and I would procrastinate it and I would keep putting it off and doing other things and I realized I never truly got to reading the Bible or got to praying and everything mm -hmm. I was prioritizing these other things over my relationship with God and yeah. I was putting those first when we choose to prioritize Jesus and we make that time I'm telling you you will not regret it you won't regret it and it's it's just going man how can I put boundaries and priorities in my life to go, Jesus, you matter to me. I think for me personally, like the biggest struggle was having too much time on my mm -hmm. hands. And so yeah. with procrastinating, mm -hmm. it's right. just so, it's so easy. Like I have so much time. I can read my Bible at any time. Yeah. Or I can mm -hmm. spend time worshiping at, at any time. And then I just never get to it because yeah, I'll schedule right. something else. And then I just keep pushing it off. Kind mm -hmm. of like what you said. I think Jesus right now is sort of just asking us to say yes to whatever this thing is, whatever this next step looks like. Although we don't necessarily know what it looks like, he just wants us to say yeah. yes and to dive, dive right in. Yeah, yeah. What's a Bible verse or story that you have been finding yourself going back to or maybe even claiming right now that has been an encouragement to you? I would say Jeremiah 29, 13 through 14. Yeah. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. I will be found by you, declares the Lord, and I will restore your fortunes and gather you from all the nations and all the places mm -hmm. where I have driven you. Hmm. I think that's so timely because if you if you remember back a couple months ago, that is our, our breakaway theme verse. Mm -hmm. We had to establish that we were going to seek God no matter what. And we've had to do that um, through COVID and through this mm -hmm. pandemic. Um, and so that's really good. Right now I'm reading through Psalms and a lot of them are written by David. And if you go back into the Old Testament and look at his story, you'll see how uh, before God was able to bring blessing to him and make him king, he experienced a lot of troubles on his own and persecution mm -hmm. as well. So when you read through the Psalms, you see how although he was going through these times, he's still proclaiming God's glory and still has such wonderful faith. Yeah. And I feel like for us, we can really look back to that as encouragement and be like, Although we are going through these hard times, you know, mm -hmm. God still has a plan for us. God is still working, even though we may not see it or understand yeah. it. And he is working for our better, too. So his blessings will come. It just takes time, and it might not yeah. be in our time and how we think, but yeah. it will all work out. And sometimes we have to pray that prayer to go, man, I'm just not feeling it. This is not, it just doesn't feel like this is something that I want to do. But what could happen if you began to go, God, help me? through this anger help me through this disappointment help me through this sadness help me through this hurt um to lean into you because i know that ultimately you're the one that has all the answers that i need mm -hmm. all the answers that i need to lean into so that's good well thank you guys so much for joining us today and thank you guys give it up for them for being part of my panel and answering all the questions that i have hey if you have questions about anything that we talked about, please reach out to your leader, reach out to me, any of our staff members. We would love to connect with you. Do not forget, Monday hangs every Monday night, 7 o'clock in the sanctuary. We will see you there. We love you. Have a great night.